the increase in foreign direct uh, investment into the country. Uh, in, in fact, from record, from records, the foreign direct investment into the country increased from last quarter to this quarter by about 46 percent. How has this increase affect employment generation in Nigeria? That is my first question. My second question, you will see that uh, capital importation into the country in the last quarter was around, uh, I mean, in the last quarter of 2015, last quarter of 2015, was around a billion dollar. But in the first quarter of this year, it has reduced to around 700 million dollars. That is a decrease of about, of about 56 percent. This is a negativity. And uh, what is the government doing? to increase capital importation into, into the country. And in a report, it was said that uh, rating the ease of doing business with 189 country, ease of doing business. Nigeria was rated 169. That is, Nigeria is around, uh, out of 189 people that is the 189 is the, it is the, will, be, will be said to be the hardest country to do business with. Nigeria is rated 169. This is not a good indices. What are we doing to improve the ease of doing business in Nigeria? Because if we are talking about bringing investment into the country, we must improve on this, on this rating. At least we must improve on Nigeria must be seen as a country that is very easy to do business with. And uh, if, we are, if we are going to talk about trading, we know that uh, we need to do a lot in improving the balance of trade deficit that we have in Nigeria today. And most of our industries are down. We talk of the steel industries of old, the Jalkuta, the iron ore, the rolling mills, they are down, the tester industries, they are down. To bring back these industries, there is a need to collaborate with local investors like uh, the Dangotes, uh, the likes of Dangotes and all.